Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about how to create Salesforce web processor account in a sales criterion account. It is a Salesforce partner actually to conduct uh, Salesforce certification exams. Okay, let's open the Google and type it for Salesforce web processor. Why? Because we have a Google web Assessor account also is there for Google certification exam. So especially I am mentioning Salesforce web Assessor. Okay, click on it and see here web Assessor Salesforce. Click on that. If you are watching my channel first time, please subscribe it and see here. Here it is asking Salesforce partner. Sorry, here it is showing like Salesforce partner. Rightly and using global testing solutions and it is Salesforce partner. Here, see so if you observe down in here, here it is showing create a new web assessor login. Okay, I'm going to create a new one. See, here we need to fill these many details to create a criterion web assessor account. For that, you need to mention login ID. It should be like a mobile number or email ID, whatever it is. So I'm going to update it to email ID only. And password should be and re-enter password. And legal first name and as per your uh, whatever you want to update it in certification exam you can put it in there so I am putting as uh, legal names here last name email ID primary phone number as per uh, if you want you can mention it it is not mandatory Also, you have mentioned all the details like address number, address line 1, line 2, city, and state and pin code. India. Under India, we need to select as uh, Andhra Pradesh and uh, pin code. And uh, you need to mention here email as address associated with your Salesforce account. In the sense, we are going to work on some draft or a developer or uh, for example, if you are practicing some things in trailhead or anything, we are going to use some account right. That one we need to mention it here. Okay, email ID and uh, company name. If you want to mention, you can mention. And uh, your name as you would like to appear on your certification. Okay, if you whatever name you, you are going to mention here, it will be reflected on your certification once you pass in the exams. Okay. And uh, you are a employee, Salesforce employee, partner, customer, whatever it is, I am going to mention is a employee. And uh, verification input. Are you focused primary on which sector? Private sector only. Save. Okay, thanks for creating a new candidate account. You will receive an email confirmation, your username and password. Okay, we ho hope you will receive the email and password once it is done. And uh, after that, you can click on login here and we'll see how our information will be available login id and password click on login once you click on login it will navigate to home page see here here it will show the, all the details welcome name and uh, profile details change password help log out all these available here and my assessment in the sense if you have completed any exams or certifications it will be shown under the uh, my assessments see as of now there is no scheduled exams or uh, completed exam just now account is created 
so there is no completed exams and register for a register for an exam if you want to register for any certification exam then you have to go to under registration for an exam sheet tab and you have to register for exam here it will show like as uh, here associated exams administrator exams consultant exam tab builder exams why the sense salesforce is providing these many kind of, these kind of applications there is a lot of certifications salesforce is providing we have to complete uh, whatever if you want see here especially in the developer exam if you open the developer exam it is showing like multiple things b2c the commerce developer certified uh, industries cpq developer platform developer things and all here only it will come see and if you want to do as an administrator exams okay click on plus symbol here we will get a uh, like uh, certified administrator certified advanced administrator business analyst like this we will get the things receipts now i am going to show you how to register for an exam sales for certification exam click on register for an exam and choose which one you want as administrator developer app builder like that choose a developer i am going to write a developer exam so i have selected as a platform developer uh, and a sales for certified platform developer i am going to as pd1 so i have selected this one click on that one once you click on plus symbol it will show online protected or on site protected going to select online only if you mean on site means you have to move directly go to one of uh, certification center and you have to do it there so i am going to take an off online thing only register once you click on register it will ask the time and date for exam and we need to select a uh, date as of i am going to 21st september and uh, time should be 8 pm i am going to select 8 pm acknowledge and select 8 pm 21st and click on select once you click on select it will show the uh, one another page it's like we need to paste the certification voucher code or uh, okay click on submit now code is uploaded successfully and uh, see here total amount should be zero and click on check out now transaction is being processed and in the sense our certification code is validating once it is validation completed then it will show the receipt if you go on my assessments it will show like our scheduled exams we scheduled one sales for certified platform developer one exam and time should be date and time 21st september and around 8 o'clock 20 in the sense if you calculate it uh, 24 hours time it's 20 means 8 o'clock night time and online protected online exam and uh, date of registration today i have registered so it is showing today registered date launch in the sense of uh, on the date of 21st it will get launched around before 5 to 10 minutes it will get launched once it is time uh, so 7:55 around we can click on launch it will get launch the exam and details if you want to reschedule and uh, cancel your things it will be uh, displayed here and the same way you can see here receipts see here a receipt also available Thank you for watching please subscribe my channel